months, Sudan transitioned from an adversarial regime to a potential partner. And the United States played an important role bringing about a civilian-led transitional government. Soon after Bashir's ouster, we dispatched Deputy S Assistant Secretary Makila James for an initial round of discussions with all the factions. We also appointed veteran diplomat Ambassador Don Booth, Special Envoy for Sudan. Under Secretary Hale visited Sudan days after the Transitional Military Council and Forces for Freedom of Change agreed to form a transitional government. His visit underscored our interest in seeing a civilian-led government that reflects the will of the Sudanese people. And we hosted the first Friends of Sudan gathering here in Washington to build international support for the new regime. In January, I met with the head of the civilian-led government, Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok in Khartoum, to discuss our shared vision of Sudan's democratic future. I also met with Chairman of the Sovereign Sovereignty Council, Sudan, Al Burhan. I was impressed with the willingness of both leaders to work together.